This e-learning is intended to briefly explain the measurement methods of the Jumo devices in the flow sector and thus supports the selection of suitable devices. In flow measurement, a distinction is made between volumetric flow, the volume per unit of time that flows through a pipe, and mass flow, the mass per unit of time that flows through a pipe. All devices available from Jumo are indirect measuring methods. The indirect measuring methods can only record the flow velocity or resulting substitute variable. The flow rate is ultimately calculated by the device using the pipe cross section or the k-factor. This is possible because the velocity v is in most cases the only variable in the two formulas. The pipe cross section a is constant and in most cases the density of the medium as well. Flow rate is probably the measurement with the most measuring methods. Jumo offers flow sensors that use five of the measurement methods shown here. These are listed in descending order of frequency. Jumo offers paddle wheel sensors, magnetic inductive sensors, differential pressure sensors, thermal sensors and an ultrasonic sensor. In the case of the pedal wheel sensor, the permanent magnets embedded in the blades generate a magnetic field, which is detected by a Hall sensor and output as a square wave signal. The liquid flowing past drives the wheel. If the flow velocity is slower, a lower frequency is output. If the flow velocity is faster, a higher frequency is output. The frequency of rotation is therefore the direct measure of the flow velocity. Since the output, revolution or pulse frequency is proportional to the flow velocity, the field device can calculate the flow rate via the k-factor. The k-factor is related to the pipe cross-section and is specified by the manufacturer in the datasheet. At Jumo, the pedal wheel sensor is called Flowtrans PW. This is a plug-in pedal wheel sensor that is fastened to the respective process connection, T-pieces, pipe clamps or welding spigots, by means of a union nut. This allows for quick in process insertion or replacement, making installation and maintenance easier. It is suitable for flow measurement in neutral, slightly aggressive and low solid media and can measure flow velocities up to 10 meters per second. The magnetic inductive sensor works according to Faraday's law of induction. This states that when an electrical conductor moves through a magnetic field, a voltage is generated in it. This voltage is proportional to the speed of the electrical conductor in the magnetic field. The induced voltage depends on the length of the electrical conductor, the magnetic field strength and the speed of the conductor. The polarity of the voltage depends on the direction of movement of the conductor. If we transfer the example model to our sensor scheme, we see that our sensor is constructed similarly and functions according to the same principle. In the wall of the tube there are coils which generate a magnetic field. The conductor, in our case a conductive medium, now moves between these two electrodes into which the voltage is then induced. The Jumo Flow Transmark EO1 or EO2 flow meters are plug-in sensors and allow easy installation and replacement. They can be used to measure flow velocities from 0.2 to 10 meters per second. They are suitable for neutral, contaminated and aggressive liquids. The Humo Flow Transmark H20, a magnetic inductive flow meter in compact design, this device features single pay Ethernet, can be configured via an app and is suitable for accurate measurement of very small quantities. The third series is the OptiFlux series. Three different devices are available here, covering a wide range of different applications. The transmitter can be placed on the sensor as well as decentralized.
In the differential pressure method, the flow velocity is calculated via the differential pressure. The total pressure is composed of the dynamic pressure and the static pressure. According to Bernoulli's law of conservation of energy, this total pressure is constant within a closed system. By tapering the pipe cross-section at one point, the flow velocity is increased there. As a result, the dynamic pressure component increases and since the total pressure is constant, the static pressure component decreases. The static pressure is measured immediately before and after the cross-section tapper. The pressure difference is then a measure of the flow. The flow rate has a quadratic proportional relationship to the measured differential pressure. In the pressure transmitter, the differential pressure can then be root extracted. In practice, this pressure difference is generated via so-called primary elements. In addition to the horrific plate, which functions according to the principle just described, the Jumu portfolio also includes the pitot tube in which a dynamic pressure, the pitot pressure, is generated by flow past the bores in the opposite direction to the direction of flow. And a constant static pressure is generated on the opposite side. The Jumo D-Trans P20 delta is used as a transmitter for both options. This method is used for liquids as well as for gases and also under extreme conditions. Finally, the ultrasonic flow meters of the Flowtrans US series. Jumo ultrasonic flow meters operate according to the transit time method. Two transducers are located in the pipe section, shown here as A and B. These work according to the piezoelectrical effect and send and receive ultrasonic waves. If the medium is stationary, the recorded transit time of the ultrasonic waves from A to B and from B to A are the same. If the medium begins to flow, the ultrasonic waves become faster in the direction of flow. The greater the difference between the transit time in both directions, the greater the velocity of the flow medium. The time difference is therefore a measure of the flow velocity. Products of the Jumo Flow Trans US series are high precision ultrasonic flow meters for conductive and non conductive media. They can be used flexibly in a wide range of processes and are also resistant to corrosive media. In addition to pure flow measurement, variants with a pressure sensor, Bluetooth, IO Link, or Jumo DigiLine are available. For more information, e learnings, seminars, and webinars, please visit our homepage.